I am going to talk about something that's been on my mind pretty consistently for the past while and I haven't really spoken about it recently, which is how I've been feeling about the reptile hobby industry and the bad things, the negative stuff. It's been pretty pretty negative. It comes to, I start thinking about it and it just gets negative real fast. I've got a long road to go on, so I figure I'll just collect some thoughts randomly and then put them together, edited in a cohesive way that makes sense of what I'm actually trying to say, so I'm not just randomly babbling on a usual uncut and it'll actually have like a cohesive, concise message. But I'm going to talk about uh, what I see as a solution most importantly, but also first identify what I see as the problem. I would love any comments and feedback down below to where you guys are at with this. First thing right off the bat, put blame on myself for how I'm feeling about it because in my own human nature causes me to focus on a lot of the negative stuff out there involving the hobby industry and that has been very easy to do the last, um, let's call it three, four months or so there's a whole layer of things as to why. The thing that I've seen a lot, and if you guys don't pay attention to this, then I think you guys are actually doing part of the solution or being part of the solu one of the solutions that I'm thinking of um, when I get towards the end of this video. But one of the things for sure, the economy is not as strong as it was, um, especially for the reptile hobby industry during COVID. So, we're seeing a hit there. A lot of different businesses are slowing down where as a couple years ago or a year ago, they saw their best business yet. And so there's a little bit of, I think, running around and like trying to figure out what's, what's gonna happen with, with the industry side of the reptile world. The hobby side, I think, will always be there. I know that I personally, as, as negative as it gets for me on the community side, I'll always keep snakes. You know, that, that's something that's been true for pretty much most of my life. But it's more the community side that, and again, it's my fault for focusing on the negative stuff because I'm sure there's plenty of stuff that I don't really pay any attention to that is just really good and awesome. And for whatever reason, again, probably my human nature, I don't really pay as close attention to all that stuff and I just kind of focus on the stuff that seems dangerous and uh, is, is a threat to my mental health. Um, and focus on that, which is super counterintuitive, I guess, not, not I'm saying it out loud. But I, I do want to know what's going wrong, probably mostly because I want to know how to fix it. And, you know, as, as far as being involved in the community, it's been about eight years now. Um, and I loved the honeymoon period. You know, it just seemed like, wow, I'm finding all these other people that really like reptiles and like, it seems to be a strong community. And, and there still is too, in many ways there, there still is, but there's just an overwhelming amount of infighting that I've seen and that I've, I've been putting my attention on. And whether it's coming from people disagreeing with how other people are keeping or which people should even be allowed to keep, um, that's another part of it. And that's the part that really drives me nuts. Cause like, it, sure, there's probably some folks that should be ousted from the community as a whole, but like who makes the ultimate end call decision on that, you know? has been this idea of like self-policing the reptile industry and community. Who makes that call when you're self-policing? Like, is it up to this person? Is it up to that person? Is it up to a group of people? Ultimately, I guess it is up to a group if nobody buys or supports somebody else in the hobby at all. I don't know, I don't know. But the other thing is, there is a much larger group of reptile keepers that is not involved in the reptile keeping community and they just keep reptiles themselves without really being part of the industry or hobby in the community sense. And I think they make up the majority of reptile keepers. And those of us that are really focused here in the industry and hobby pay a lot more attention to that circle of folks that are paying attention there. And that's, that's where I was most of the time that I was keeping reptiles growing up. I didn't know really anybody else that kept reptiles. And it was fun. I just had my snake and some snakes and fed them from time to time, cleaned them, took them out when people would come over and we'd hang out with my snakes and it was, it was great. And that's kind of how it was when I first jumped into YouTube. It just seemed like it was taking that on a more global level with just other people. I don't think that the approach of trying to weed out the bad folks of the hobby, when I say the bad folks because everybody else has their own opinion of who the bad folks are. In my opinion, if you weed out to the root of everybody's 
potential to be bad, you pretty much get rid of everybody. Everybody's got some bad stuff. Everybody's got stuff they do wrong, whether they want to admit it or not. By the end of the day, the end of you know the process of weeding out the bad folks, pretty much there will be nobody left, in my opinion. Nobody. We'll all be out. I'm me included. Big time. I don't like that. And here's here's the solution I think I've come up with is to go back to where I was. And this is a bit selfish, but it's it's very important for my mental health. If I'm going to keep doing what I've been doing in this industry, community, hobby, this is what I think I need to do as a solution. And hopefully this could be a solution for other folks too. I'm not going to focus on anybody else at all. Um, Now there's one person that I will say I am going to actually, I take back. There's one person that reached out to me recently and we're going to talk there. But for at least for a while, I'm just going to focus on kids, education, what I've got going on with my reptiles in my little world over here and that's what I'll put out on the channel and I this will be like the last video where I focus outwardly on the community and just hope that that will a take care of my mental health issues with feeling super negative about the community b it'll bring the focus back and hopefully show the really good sides of the hobby which is what I wanted to do in the first place when I started this channel is to encourage other people how cool it is to keep reptiles and how that can look in a person's life and so those those are the two things I think it'll they'll be good and that's that's the only solution I can think of if anybody else has any better solutions down in the comments please leave them I'm super open to any kind of um, thoughts on this what I'm talking about here this topic because something needs to change and I, I can't go around you know feeling negative about thing that I really care about a lot. I really care about the reptile keeping hobby and community a lot, like probably too much to where it keeps me awake at night. And, um, you know, there's so many good folks out there. There's, there's really more good than bad, in my opinion, like way more, way more. But it's tough. It's tough to keep that the focus when things are fluctuating so much all over the place. And so that's why I think I just need to keep it focused here. And, you know, being with those kids the other day in the last video, if you saw when I was getting back to doing the educational programs and being out there with the kids. I just want to focus on that. And I just want to focus on what I'm doing here and not pay any attention to anything. Like, I'll probably stop following, like, again, this is where I really think it is selfish. Like, I feel like it's what my solution is selfish. Then I'm going to, like, stop following basically everybody. Um, I'm still going to go to the reptile show, you know, next weekend and and have a blast out there and enjoy the folks in person. I love the in-person stuff, you know. Every time I get together with folks in the community and the hobby in person, it's always wonderful and amazing and just, like, the best time ever. And so I'll definitely keep filming stuff like that for the the foreseeable future. But just to beat the dead horse of what what my solution is, I think I just got to just focus focus here. Just got to stay focused here and not be focusing outward. And that's that's what I'm going to do for a bit and again if anybody has better solutions please leave them in the comment section below so I can read through them and and think about your thoughts because I love getting feedback from you guys because you guys always have great ideas things I didn't think of in the moment Um, I always appreciate the feedback you guys give so I'm looking forward to lots of cool events coming up you know the the Daytona show um, the Pomona show next weekend the uh, going to Animal Con in September and uh, you know all the different cool reptile hobby events that are that are taking place. Can't wait to see all you folks there at those shows. I, I really love seeing each and every one of you. It's always a great time. And uh, thank you guys for all your support on the channel and for listening to me vent and, and rant a little bit about what's been bothering me. And I guess that's it. Uh, we'll see you on the next video. Y'all take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Aloha. Yes, beans. I did not. Huh. You know we have some left and I can't find it. Uh, wasn't me. Okay. It's got to be somewhere then. I'm really not a fan of cinnamon raisin toast. It's just not my thing. Uh, a snail? <laughs> All right. Okay. Get around. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye.